today we're gonna be baking because as I'm sure lots of you know it is National Little Baking Week. I am vegan so me and Katie are gonna go and make some vegan brownies and brownies <laughs> uh, vegan no. blueberry muffins. It's so easy so quick and we don't have all the fancy equipment so this will be for you people out there. Yeah we're proving that you don't need all the special equipment to do some fun baking while you're a student. So off camera of course me and Katie gave our hands a wee wash because gotta keep clean especially whenever you're cooking. So I'm just gonna go through a wee list of the ingredients. So we've got 250 grams of flour, 244 grams of milk, and you know, again, because I'm vegan, it's almond. Two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. It's one fourth a teaspoon of mineral. A quarter of mineral salt. We have our fancy salt here. Um, and then we have three quarters a cup of organic pure cane sugar here we go one third a cup of olive oil olive oil and one teaspoon of vanilla extract to make it nice and sweet our frozen blueberries so this is all the ingredients it's actually all very very cheap and yeah, we're gonna dive right into it. So guys, obviously lack of continuity. We didn't have any batteries for our scales, so I had to run to Tesco. We're back yeah. now, um, and we're about to start doing the ingredients. So we're just gonna start off with the wet ingredients. So we're gonna start with 244 grams of the almond milk. Well, we gotta work with what we've got. Wait, I don't know if we have this on the, oh wait, I think we have this on stone, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, no, far too much. So we've got, so we've got 555 grams so of that. So we need about like half of that. Oh, okay. So 244 <laughs> grams of the milk. He did that very gracefully. So then we're just going to add 150 grams of sugar. So we're just putting in 66 grams of olive oil. Now the olive oil is quite important in this recipe. It works as a binding agent for the batter. Okay, so that's one teaspoon of vanilla extract. That's what he's doing here. Oh, that's not too much. <laughs> we're gonna stir to combine our ingredients. So we're gonna do it with a, I think a fork would be good. Okay. Mix in like this. As you can see. It doesn't look appetizing right now, but it will. So we're now going to move on to the mixed dry ingredients. So we're going to mix together the flour, baking powder and salt. So we're going to start with 250 grams of all-purpose flour. Oh, yeah, that's 336. Right, we'll have to spin it out there. Then two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. So one sachet is one teaspoon, so. Put this in. And then just, I'm just gonna put in one thing of this. <laughs> and then. So now we're gonna add our dry ingredients with our wet ingredients. And this is gonna be our batter. Just wanna get all of that in there because God knows we've definitely done something wrong. And as you can see, that is slowly becoming a batter. And I just think it's good to use a fork because see all those wee lumpy bits? The wee prongs in the fork is going to really batter those down, whereas I don't think a spoon really would. So I have just whisked the batter there and it looks really smooth. So now I'm going to put in the blueberries. Um, my recommendation is for the blueberries, just put in how many you want because some people will want, will want less blueberries and some people will want more. I'm personally someone who likes to put in quite a few blueberries, so I'm just going to pour them in. And then I'm gonna mix them into the batter 
so it's nice and even. Just gonna put our wee mixture into cupcake cases and then we're gonna cook them at 180 degrees. So guys, for these wee muffins, we didn't have any cupcake trays, but we didn't want to let that hold us back. So we found out online that if you triple line the cases, then that should act as a tray in itself. So this is us going to try it out. So guys, these go in the oven for 30 minutes, so we're just going to pop them in now. And I'm going to set a wee timer for 30 minutes and we'll check on them periodically. And the best way to check if your muffins are ready is just to poke a wee knife in the middle and see if it's still wet. So guys, we're now just going to do a wee taste test of the muffins. So this is what the wee muffin looks like. And yeah, here's the yeah. Mmm, mm, really good. That's so nice. But guys, the recipe we just there made 12 muffins. Um, thanks so much for watching. We hope that everyone's staying safe. And if you want to see more content like this, check out our YouTube channel, Katie and Lee. Bye. Thanks guys, bye bye.